Right guys, so I've had this video in mind for quite a while and uh, it is what is the best epic moment set and uh, obviously I think here I have the two best epic moments set. I'm not going to count the Milkomania. Some people might find that the best because they're from that time and then um, the Kevin Owens and Chris Jericho one, I'm uh, not going to count that either. Um, even though I do want that but it's not really, I, I don't need it. Um, if it's like cheap enough I'll probably pick it up one day. But uh, I think these two are the best two sets and I've been wanting to do this since I got the Undisputed Era set. And uh, obviously we've got the awesome Hardy Boys set that I got back in February or March, I think. Um, but I'm going to go through the figures, uh, the packaging, the accessories, you know, and then the positives and the negatives. And uh, I'm actually currently in Florida by the time you're watching this. I've got a few videos scheduled for while I'm away, so I don't miss any... So I don't go like two weeks without uploading. Um, uh, unfortunately, I don't think we hit the 900 subscriber goal, so the giveaway won't be happening where I get a figure from the US and give it away. So sorry about that, we didn't hit the goal. Uh, maybe I'll do another giveaway in the future, like near Christmas time. So be sure to stay subscribed and stay active. But uh, anyway, let's get into this video. So on the left, obviously, we have the new Undisputed Era. Then we have the awesome Epic Moments Hardy Boys. Um, so accessories, the Hardy Boys came with four ladders. I can only find three. Two small ones and two large ones. Uh, the large ones are obviously the better ones. Then they came with, uh, it was the first time I think we got the Raw Tag Team Championships. Because I think they were meant to come with... Gallows and Anderson as well from Elite 56, if you remember from the prototype images, but they didn't. So we got the awesome Raw Tag Team Championships, and we went we went and got we went on and got these with the Elite 50 and Mahari as well. And then for the Undisputed Era, all we have is Adam Cole's armband, and I'm not going to bother taking them off in the shirts. So I don't know which one wins accessories. Honestly, cloth shirts are amazing, but then we got these awesome belts with the Hardy Boys. So accessories, I'm not really going to give a point to anyone. Because uh, they both have their different reasons. Um, but I think for your money, you get ladders and the tag team championships and the figures. The Hardy Boys may win instead of just a few shirts and an armband. Um, and these figures are near perfect. There's still some issues with the Undisputed Era, like Adam Cole's legs and knee pads. And um, other stuff. But um, Yeah, so I don't know who to give the edge to here. But yeah, so next, uh, the packaging... Um, I shall do the figures first, so here's the Hardy Boys, and I remember when I first got these I was so excited, these were probably my most wanted figures, that's probably the reason why I'm going to give these guys the win, but right now, you know, I don't really need these because we've got so many Hardy Boys um, figures coming out, obviously we've got the Elite 57, Elite 58, then the WWE Shop, and then uh, Battle Packs and Basics and everything, but uh, I still think these are the best Matt and Jeff Hardy Elites. Um... Mine are a bit worn, as you can see on Jeff's belt, there's a bit of wear, because I've used this quite a lot. Um, favourite wrestler of all time, Jeff Hardy, and his brother Matt, obviously. And the detail on Matt, this has got to be one of the figures of the year for me. Just everything is perfect, the head scan is amazing, even without that new VF VFX technology. Um, torso's right, the wrist tape's right, the trouser design's right, unlike his Elite 58, which is a bit lazy. And then obviously Jeff has the issue with the tank top. Even though it's awesome... But uh, I still think my Hardy's the best figure out of this set. Um, so yeah, there's the Hardy Boys figures. Um, next to the Undisputed Era, you just saw my review the other day on these. Uh, probably about a week ago now. Uh, we've got Kyle O'Reilly, Adam Cole and Bobby Fish. And the head scans on these are damn near perfect. Amazing. Even Jeff's head scans are great. All the head scans on these figures are amazing. Um, Another problem is the armbands, you know, I would have liked them all to have removable armbands, even though it's not based from that, it's based from an NXT event where this is actually accurate, even though I would have preferred them all just to have one anyway. Kyle O'Reilly has a painted one on, but I'd much rather have one that Adam Cole has here. Then obviously the legs, I think Adam Cole's legs are skinny in particular, and um, yeah, and I had to put on these knee pads myself, so that's a downfall, they also didn't come with the elbow pad. But uh, everything else about these figures is... Pretty much spot on, I would say. Maybe Adam Cole's torso as well. He could do with that Mahari torso right there. If I could torso switch, I would. And leg switch, I would. Um, but, uh, yeah, so these figures are great. Uh, altogether, these figures probably take the edge over that one. Because the Jeff isn't that great, but I really like it. Uh, I still think the Elite 57 Jeff might be a bit better than that one. Um, so there's the figures. And now the packaging... Uh, here we have this, I think this, the, the Hardy Boys Epic Moments cost me about £70 altogether. Tells you like when they came back and stuff. In the front, 
sides. Yeah, there's the Hardy Boys uh, packaging and then the other Spirit Arrow packaging. I think I prefer this one just because the unique shape, the unique shape, and um, all the facts on the back. It's really nice. This one came through about eighty pound with import fees. This one I actually bought in the UK on eBay for about seventy pound, and um, I think for what's worth your money, um, the Hardy Boys might be a bit more expensive now. And I don't think this is even out in the UK yet on eBay, on eBay UK or any any eBay. Uh, any um, UK sellers, um, so I had to get it off ringside just in case. Um, the Hardy Boys was like always out of stock on ringside when I tried to order it, and I'm kind of glad I waited to only get it for seventy pound back then, um, which people said was a lot of money, but I think that's really worth it for everything you get. And the re and the first Matt and Jeff Hardy elites, obviously we had Jeff Hardy's elite one, but um, not going to count that. <clears throat> the new updated elites, I should say, from such an epic moment at WrestleMania 33. And then, uh, honestly, I don't know which one wins. I feel like this one might have sold better, but my favourite, at the time, it has to be the Hardy Boys, but right now it's the Undisputed Era, just because I've got loads of Hardy Boys figures. Um, but if you had to choose one to get, I would say get the Hardy Boys, because you probably know those guys more. Um, they probably still are in stock on Ringside and other websites like eBay, and they've been out a while now, a few months, six months maybe. And these have just came out, so maybe when these die down a bit, They'll either get rarer or cheaper. I don't know. I feel I feel like they might get rarer. Because Adam Cole's first elite in particular. And then um, the Hardy Boys obviously get these Raw Tag Team Championships. And the ladders. <laughs> um, but yeah guys, thanks for watching this video. Uh, let me know which set you prefer. You might prefer the other ones that I haven't got figures of. Like the Jericho one and the Locomania. But thanks for watching. Leave a like, leave a comment. Click the bell to never miss a video. And subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video.